Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are well at your place. I am Shweta and welcome to the maths class of Standard 3. Today, I am going to start a new chapter. But you have to guess the chapter name. Okay, you want this. What you will do? You will go to a shop. But you need a very important thing to buy these things. What is that? Correct. Money. So, we are going to start chapter number 8, money. Okay. Do you know, dear students, that before the currency has been introduced, people used to exchange the thing to buy anything. Suppose I have to buy this and I have this. This is mine. Okay. But I want to take this. Then what I have to do? I have to exchange the thing. Means I will, I will give this chips to that one, that person. And that person will give me this chocolate. So, this was the method in the ancient time. To buy something, we have to exchange the things. Okay? But after that, currency has been introduced. In India, the mon money is expressed in terms of rupees and paise. Paise is in the form of coins. Whereas, generally, the rupees are in forms of notes. Okay? But in India, rupee 1, rupees 2, rupees 5 and rupees 10 are also present in coin. And rupees 10, rupees 20, rupees 50, rupees 100, rupees 200, rupees 500 and rupees 2000 we have in the form of notes. We usually express us the price of anything in rupees and in passing as the cost of the steps is rupees 20 as it is written there. Rupees 20. Okay. But the cost of this marker is 25 rupees and 50 passive. 25 rupees. And 50 passive. So we already know. That 1 rupee is equal to 100 past. Okay. If we have this 1 rupee coin with me. That means I have 100 past with me. Okay. So now the cost of this chip is 20 rupees. Whereas the cost of this marker is 25 rupees and 50 past. Understood? Now. How we can write rupees and paise? Here I have written one rupee. But this is not the correct symbol to write rupee. For rupee, we used to write this symbol. First we have R in Hindi Akshar. And then we have to give equal to sign. This is the symbol of rupees. Okay? And to denote paise, we don't need to write the full passive, we will write only P. Okay. So, suppose I have to write 20 rupees. The cost of this chip is rupees 20. So, how I can write? I can write rupees 20. Okay. But if I have to write the cost of this marker, then what I have to do? Suppose I have to write the cost of this marker. Then what is the cost of this marker? 25 rupees and 50 paise. So if I will write like symbol, in symbol, then rupee 25 and 50 paise. You will say like this we have to write. Okay. But no. In writing, we will not use and. Okay, instead of writing and, we will use only a dot. 
Okay, like rupees twenty five dot. After that fifty, and then we don't need to write this p because it is already understood that after writing a dot, the numbers that are coming after the dot is passive. Okay. so we don't need to write the p okay to write the cost of this market we only need rupees 25.50 but if we have to write only passive then we will write 50 passive p okay so what do you have learned here to write only rupee we will use the symbol rupee and we will write the amount Okay, like rupee twenty, rupee fifty, rupee chips, and this chocolate. All together, the cost of these things are rupees twenty plus rupees twenty is equal to rupees forty. So we can write that rupees forty, rupees hundred, rupees one thousand, like that. Okay, but if you have to write only passive, like the cost of this toffee is fifty passive. How I can write only fifty. passive okay 70 passive 70 passive 60 passive we have to write the number and after that we have to put only p okay but if we have to write both the rupees and passive like the cost of this matter is 25 rupees and 50 passive so how i can write I have to write only the rupees symbol, then twenty five. Then we have to give a dot, okay? And after dot, we have to write the passive. But we don't need to write p after that, okay? If we are writing both the rupees and pa passive all together, then after writing passive, we don't need to write the p symbol. Understood? Here I have written two important facts of writing of writing rupees and passive. The first fact is we denote rupees as r and then equal to, okay, and passive as p. This is a small letter p. Example: rupees twenty fifty passive. Understood? Now the second fact is we show the rupees and passive together by separating them. by a point a dot is called as point okay like example rupees 25 point 50 then we don't need to write this p here okay if we are writing rupees and passive together then after writing that we don't need to write p okay so just pause this video and write these things in your maths notebook now Here I have written the third important fact of writing rupees and passive. The number on the left side of the dot. Here you can see I have written the rupees and passive. This one is the dot. So the number on the left side of the dot. Left side of the dot means this side. Shows rupees. This area. This number shows rupees. And that on the right side of the dot. right side of the dot means this one okay so passive okay now i'm going to discuss about how to write rupees and passive in long forms and in short forms like i have told you right now that the cost of this marker is 25 rupees and 50 passive so if i have to write this amount 25 rupees and 50 passive in long form then how i can write i can write like first i have to give give the rupees symbol and then 25 okay rupees 25 and i have to write and instead of giving dot okay and 50 and then i again have to give the p symbol means pass this is the long form of writing rupees and pass now the short form of writing the same rupees and passive like i have told you rupees 25 dot means point 50 if we are using give this dot then we don't need to write this 
fee symbol here. So this is the short form of writing rupees and passive and this is the long form of writing rupees and passive. Hope you understood this. So just pause this video and write these things also in your maths notebook. Now we will learn the conversion of rupees into passive and passive into rupee. 1 rupee is equal to 100 passive. Okay, that means if we are talking about rupees 2, means we have to just multiply this 2 by 100. Is equal to 200 passive. Isn't it? If 1 if one rupee is equal to 100 passive, then rupee 5 is equal to 500 passive. Means we have to just multiply the rupee number with 100 passive. So should we start like, like the first question is rupees 50, 15. Okay, now we have to convert this 15 rupees into passive. Then what we will do? We will just multiply this 15 by 100. Okay. Then we will get, if you will multiply 15 by 100, then, then what will be the answer? 15, 100. Okay. As in the multiplication, I have taught you that by, by multiplying any number by 100, we have to put these two zeros just after that number. Okay, so similarly like that I have done here. So now this rupees 15 is converted into passive. Now this rupees 15 is equal to 1500 passive. Understood? Now suppose I have to convert the same number 15 rupees and 20 passive. Okay. And 20 passive, we have to convert this amount into passive only. Then how we will do? As you can see, this 20 is already in passive form. We don't need to convert this 20 passive. Because 20 is already passive. So why we will convert that into passive? Now we only have to convert this rupees 15. Okay. Then what we will do? 15 into 100. Okay, and then we have to add this 20 passive. If this 15 rupees is 1500 passive, okay, then this 20 passive also we have to add now. Then this will become 1500 plus 20 is equal to 1520 passive. Okay. Now, I am going to tell you the shortcut method to convert rupees and passe into passe. We have to just remove this point. No need for this calculation. Only remove this point, then this number will become 1520. As you can see, 1520. Remove this rupees and remove this point and after writing this number, only write P. So, this is the shortcut method to convert rupees and passe into passe. In this question also, we, we can do like that. Suppose this is rupees 15. So 15, how many passive? Zero passive. To write zero, we have to give two zeros. If we are writing the passive, then we have to give two zeros. Not one zero. Okay? Because 100 passive is equal to one rupee. As we already know. So if we are writing the passive, then we will write up to 99 only. Up to 99, that is passive. As soon as it will reach 100, it will become rupees. So, the passive can be reached up to 2 digit. Okay. So, if in the question it is given rupees 15, then you have to imagine that 0, 0 passive is there. Then only write 1500. No need for this calculation. Okay. If in the question it is given to do the calculation, then you have to show. But if in the question it is not given, only convert the rupees into passes and just omit this point, remove this symbol R, uh, rupees and just write this number as it is and after writing only give passive. Okay. Now here we will 
learn how to convert paise into rupees similarly like that suppose 100 paise is there okay 100 paise is equal to 1 rupee we have to count have to count two two digit we have to check from the right side means from this side this is the side for the paise so we will count from count from the right side two one two and after counting we have to give only a point means 1.00 and then we have to just remove this p and we have to give this rupees symbol understood if we have to convert the paise into rupees we have to count from right side and after counting two we have to give a point there then what it will become 1.00 means after that if you are writing that in rupees just keep the rupees symbol 1.00 and just omit this p no need to write this p now rupee 1 1 rupees equal to 100 paise now suppose i am writing 50 1520 paise okay if i am writing this i have to convert this paise into rupees then what we have to do again we have to count from the right side 2 1 2 and then we will give a dot means first we have to write rupees symbol then this whole number we have to write as it is but we have to count from right side to and after that we have to give a dot rupees 1520 paise i think this is clear to you now you can convert the rupees into paise and paise into rupees so just pause this video and write these examples in your math notebook okay now here i am taking a big amount like suppose here i have to convert rupees into paise so i can write here rupees 500 okay and 70 paise what i have to do if in shortcut method i am doing converting the rupees into paise i have to just remove this point okay i can write 500 then this 70 and then just only write paise this is the shortcut method okay now if you are using the long method then what you have to do you have to just what what you have to do you have to write 500 into 100 plus 70 500 100 is equal to first you have to write and after that you have to give this two zeros and then you have to add 70 then it will become 50070 as you can see both numbers are same okay now here the same thing i have to do suppose i have to take a big number then i can write uh, 100721 if this these are paise and i have to convert this paise into rupees then what i have to do first i will write rupees symbol okay then i have to count from the right side to 1 2 then i have to give a dot there then i can write 1 0 0 7 .21 21 okay so this is the way to convert the rupees and paise i hope you all have understood this so just pause this video and write these examples in your maths book